All right, guys, this is a bit of a big figure here. In fact, it is a big figure. I'm not going to lie about that. This is the McFarlane Toys Game of Thrones House of the Dragon Caraxes figure. You can see House of the Dragon right there. You can see Caraxes trademark with the uh, dragon symbol right there. You can see a nice glamour shot of the figure there. Caraxes roaring. You can see the figure isn't in there, but we will get to that shortly. Um, top of the box, you can see Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon. You can see how much uh, we paid for this. Uh, side of the box, you can see McFarlane Toys. And then you can see some glamour shots of the figure fully assembled. And, you know, the width and length of it looking really cool. Back, you can see a nice glamour shot of one of the characters from House of the Dragon. As well as Caraxes roaring and looking really cool. It's part of the McFarlane's Dragons line. Um, you can see... Uh, another image here on the side of what looks like a dragon egg with Caraxes uh, seemingly watching over it. And that pretty much wraps up the box. So without further ado, let's check out the figure fully assembled. All right, here is Caraxes out of the box, fully assembled. As you can see here, it comes with a card with a nice glamour shot of the character and then a little biography of the character, what it does, and how it's depicted in the show. But, array for cards, let's take a look at the actual figure. Taking a closer look at the head sculpt, it has a very Carnotaurus-like head, which I really like with the horns. It's got a long snake-like neck and big powerful wings. I like the addition of the uh, leg wings on the back, and it even has a swivel-jointed tail with like a flail-like arrangement of fins on the end. I love that the face is in this growling pose. Also, taking a look at the base here, you can see there's this nice metallic red plaque that says Game of Thrones House of the Dragon with the name of the dragon there. You can even see the base has this kind of stone texture to it. Uh, I wish there was some dry brushing because without it, it really looks kind of fake and that's not what you want from this figure given that it costs like $56. The dragon is the main selling point for this figure, but I feel like they could have brought it all together by adding just a little bit of dry brushing to the base to really make the rocks look more realistic. But like I said, the dragon is the main selling point. Taking a closer look at the wings here, you can see all the texturing and detail that's done to the wings. It really makes it look like the wings are like caked in lava or brimstone that's like cooling. You can even see the arms of the wings have like this kind of scoot or harder scale look to them. Even for the, uh, the wings on the back legs, it looks really cool. And then moving all the way up to the tail with this sort of flail-like arrangement of fins at the end of it. The one thing I like that differentiates Caraxes here from other Game of Thrones dragons is that trio of sail-like spines that go up the neck. They're not present here, which I like, and it differentiates this one from other dragons. Like Drogon, Rigel, and Visern, instead we have a series of sharp horn-like spikes lining the neck. The upper body appears to be where all the bulk is, where it trails off into more a nimble and insectoid-like appearance as we get to the end of the tale. When it comes to my final thoughts on the figure, I think it's very detailed, and whilst I wish that the base had more dry brushing to really bring out the textures of this sort of mountain face or rocky landscape he appears to be wing crawling across, I am happy with how the final figure looks. I think that the figure does a great job of capturing just the absurd, aggressive nature of Caraxes as a dragon character within the show. I love the way they have this thing posed. He is wing crawling. It seems like he's slowly creeping around. His tail appears to be flicking back and forth, similar to how a cat might have it. And his head is very close to the ground, but also roaring at you which I think is cool and very dynamic. 
I guess the only gripe and or complaint I have with this figure, other than the base looking really cheap, is the assembly. I fiddled with this guy for quite a long time before I figured out how to properly plug things in so that they fit and they work, but other than that, he looks really good. If you like dragons, I would recommend to get this guy. I know he's expensive, but he's worth the money. And if you like Game of Thrones and the spin-off series, Definitely, it's really good. He looks good on display with other dragons or just at display in general. He has a really good shelf presence. And if you buy this guy at EB Games with an edge card, it brings the price up from $56 all the way down to $45. But with all that being said, this pretty much brings my review of the McFarlane Toys House of the Dragon Caraxes review to a close. Let me know if you guys like dragons, if you like Game of Thrones, if you like both, and if you own this figure, what you think about it in the comments below. And with that, do take care, have a great night, and I'll see you in the next awesome figure review.